Thomas Lodge, a university wit on expeditions. Hello and welcome to the discourse. We are discussing the university wits. We have already covered Christopher Marlowe, Robert Greene, Thomas Nash and John Lilly. Today we will revise the works of Thomas Lodge, another university wit who completed his education from the Oxford University. University wits is the term given to those English writers who were educated at either of the two reputable universities, Cambridge and Oxford, and who became notable secular writers and playwrights. All these university wits influenced the development of Elizabethan drama and literature of Elizabethan era. All of these university wits influenced William Shakespeare in a positive manner and became sources of inspiration for his playwrights and dramas. Thomas Lodge was born in 1558 and he was the son of the Lord Mayor of London. He was educated at Merchant Taylor's School and Trinity College of Oxford University. He completed his BA in 1577 and MA in 1581. In 1579, the known English satirist Stephen Gosson published a pamphlet criticizing poetry by the title School of Abuse. Sir Philip Sidney published his rebuttal to that criticism. Another rebuttal came from Thomas Lodge, who published his pamphlet Defense of Poetry, Music and Stage Plays. It was published in 1579. It became a series when Stephen Gosson replied Lodge with his pamphlet Plays Confuted in Five Actions. It was published in 1582. Thomas Lodge in response to that pamphlet published his answer in Alarm Against Usurers, which was published in 1584. While answering Stephen Gosson, Lodge also mentioned the ill effects of the usurers in the societies. His first historical romance also came in 1584 and it was titled The Delectable History of Forbonius and Preseria. In order to make money, Thomas Lodge joined the crew of Thomas Cavendish and went on voyage to Brazil and the Straits of Magellan in 1591. While this voyage as a sea dog didn't return the desired gifts, Thomas Lodge succeeded in creating one of his more popular stories titled Rosalind, Euphia's Golden Legacy. It was published in the year 1591 and it showed the huge influence of John Lilly on Thomas Lodge as this novel was beautifully written in Euphistic style of prose which was developed by John Lilly. Later on, William Shakespeare also took some significant inspiration for his work as you like it from this tale of Rosalind. He again published his second historical romance titled The History of Robert, Second Duke of Normandy. It was published in 1591. The subtitle of this historical romance was Robert the Devil. In the same year, that is 1591, he also published an essay titled Cathar's Diogenes in his singularity. Lodge again went to expedition while his another euphistic novel, Euphius Shadow, The Battle of the Scenes, was published in the year 1592. In 1596, he again published a novel titled Wits, Miseries and the World's Madness. And after that, he became a Catholic. So initially, university wits were secular, but Thomas Lodge became a Catholic in 1596. While Thomas Lodge wrote some noteworthy novels in euphistic style, his work as a dramatist remained limited. His first drama was published in 1587 and it was titled The Wounds of Civil War. It was a historical Elizabethan drama based on the historical civil war of Athens of ancient Roman Empire. It depicted the confrontation and conflict between Marius and Sulla. Wounds of Civil War was the only solo drama created by Thomas Lodge. In collaboration with Robert Greene, Thomas Lodge created and published a popular drama titled A Looking Glass for London and England. This drama was also published in 1594. 
In 1596, Thomas Lodge published his most popular romantic novel, titled A Marguerite of America. Thomas Lodge was more successful as a poet. He published Cecilia's Metamorphosis in 1589. It was an Ovidian fable and one of the earliest English poems based on classical stories. Shakespeare was too influenced by this poem and he took inspirations from this work for his play Venus and Adonis. In 1593, Lodge published Phillips. He used amorous sonnets and pastoral eclogues from French and Italian sources to write Phillips. While Thomas Lodge didn't create many dramas, but he had a strong ability to choose the best of the historical plays and writings that he translated in English. Later on, his translations were used by Shakespeare and other dramatists of Elizabethan and Jacobian era. So this was all about Thomas Lodge, a university wit on expeditions. We will meet again and discuss the remaining university wits. Goodbye till then. Keep in touch with the discourse and the history of English literature. Thank you and regards.